Hey, welcome back to Side by Each. We're out on another snowmobile trip today. This is actually an overnight one, so we have a cabinscape rented about an hour away from here. We're pretty much in Charbot Lake right now, just to the north here. And uh, I guess you can tell us a little bit more about where we're headed. You kind of organized it and know more than I do. Sure, yeah. No, cabinscape has um, tiny house cabin kind of things uh, spread out across Ontario. And this one has caught our eye several times as we've gone along the trail to Perth. It's nestled in right beside the Fall River. And we've always kind of thought that that would be the perfect place if you were out snowmobiling or maybe out on a UTV and wanted to kind of have a home base. So we thought, hey, let's check it out. On my first snowmobile video this year, I kind of went over the Expedition Extreme here and uh, kind of did a brief overview of the machine. Today it's in grand touring mode, I guess you could say. I have the extra seat on it here. And I think it's a 135 liter storage bin it is. It's the largest one you can get. So once we get to our destination here, we'll tear this thing down, show you how much stuff we were able to bring and what we brought for the night. It's just a one night tour. So anyways, we'll get on our way here. We're gonna head uh, just south a couple kilometers, then we're gonna cut off and uh, head towards Perth. So this cabin escapes on the Fall River here. Yes. Do you want me to get up on this and stand on the edge? No, I don't. Yeah, so this is the cabin escape here, and the parking lot's just a little further up through a, a gate. Yeah, you can see it. That's probably less than a kilometer right there. So that's Armstrong Road, I believe, off Highway 7. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, you can actually park uh, trucks and trailers there, actually, too. And it's nice, so if you have your machines, you can just, um, this gate opens up, the cedar gate opens up, and you can drive right in there. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera here, but here's a bug that's actually walking around on the snow, flying around, so it gives you an idea how mild it is out today. <clears throat> this one we're out here is called the Ember Cabin. All right, so we made it here, so we'll unpack and, whoa, just fell through the snow here. Um, yeah, we'll unpack and, uh, yeah, show you how much stuff we can fit on this machine, which is quite a beast. I think this thing's like 11 feet long, at least, from ski tip to, to the very back of it. Yeah, so that's a sleeping bag and 
one of two pillows, I think, there. Yep. Yeah. This, this is just kind of randomly packed uh, just to make everything fit however it fits. So, yeah, yeah there's our other pillow. And yeah. Once you get stuff up yeah. out of the rain, yeah, we'll, get that, we'll get that stuff in first. Here we got another blanket here. Some meals ready to eat, some food, snacks, drinks, water, a little bit of extra clothes and stuff, some shoes. So, um, yeah, we're going to get this unpacked so it doesn't get all soaked and wet, and uh, we'll be back. We also have this uh, 15 liter, I think it is, yeah, it's 15 liter storage bin on this machine. It's kind of built right into it, it comes from the factory. So, um, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here as well as compared to most snow machines, uh, even without this big 135 liter cargo box here. All right, so we got our stuff in out of the rain before it got soaking wet. I guess we'll do a little walk around to the outside of this place and check it out. I guess first we got a generator here. And propane tank, so if you run out, they've got instructions on how to switch to the second one, which would be full. Yeah, and it, it does have a uh, battery power, so there is power inside right now without the generator. And when you, the inverter, the batteries get below, uh, I guess when they get to 12.2 volts, they tell you, uh, turn the generator on here, and then you can recharge the batteries, so. So yeah, there is power here. This is uh, yeah another lockbox that has uh, snowshoes and stuff like that. You said I think. Yeah. So for it's seasonal. So in the winter it's snowshoes and and winter gear. Wasn't sure if you had access to the river here, but it looks like you do. There's a canoe down here. Check that out. Fire pit, chairs. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. It actually can back here in the summer with the uh, side by sides even. You know, canoe. This is a very shallow river here. You can actually see the uh, bottom of it, but I guess apparently you can canoe, canoe down it to a point. Barbecue. Propane's already here, spare propane. See, I'll check out the inside now. Kind of rustic, but kind of nice. Two of LED lights in the ceiling. There's an electric heater too, but uh, that would, I'm sure, kill those batteries pretty fast and you'd be running a generator just to uh, keep that going, I would imagine. So I guess they do have running water here in the summer? I believe so. I believe they have uh, water that comes from the river, so you can't drink it, but you could wash with it. But in the winter, it's, they worry about the pipes freezing. Yeah, but they do leave you water here. There's a couple of, uh, I guess, five gallon jugs there of water. Composting toilet, which I've never used, I have no idea about. It's weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I hope not to have to use it. I'll just leave uh, yellow holes in the snow. Well, obviously there's a shower here too. So yeah, they must pump river water up, I guess. So it includes, we've got a fridge here. Um, obviously propane for top. Cutlery, drink, um, drinkware, all that kind of stuff. Even comes with a dog dish. Yeah, this is a dog friendly cabin here. There's a few things up here from, I don't know, cooking supplies, I guess that's uh, take it if you want it, I guess. I don't know. Yes, it is. It's uh, okay, yes. just in case. Just some spices and stuff and cooking oil, coffee, tea, sugar, flour. So this tabletop actually folds right down. I just popped it up so we have a surface to put our bag down before while we were unpacking. But yeah, you can flip this right down and then just use the bar as your spot to have dinner, which I think we'll do tonight. Here's the inside of that door. It is actually a garage door, so. Yeah, you got a big huge uh, roll-up window if you want it. Got bunk beds here on the end. Uh, there is mattresses and sheets, but you do have to bring your own uh, pillows and blankets. So that's one thing you'll have to supp supply on your own. <clears throat> and that's just due to COVID. Oh, they do normally have blankets now here, but... Due to COVID, they don't right oh, now. Okay. So that's, hey, okay. in some ways I'd rather have my own pillow. Yeah, you could fit two people up there. You could sleep two people. Up above and uh, a couple below. USB outlets up here and uh, down below, so at least you can charge your devices. That's the main thing, pretty much. 
They've provided some soaps and things like that. Uh, and then of course here in the winter, we are dumping our gray water outside. So they've got a bucket for collecting that, but they've provided some water for washing. And as for meals tonight, we thought we would save the room for our bedding, kept it uh, easy. So we've got our, our favorite here, our MRE meals. But anyways, this is the definition of an off-grid cabin, I guess. Yep, battery powered and uh, no solar here, but uh, they do have generator power batteries. So yeah, I guess this is their first. Oh, they do have solar. Oh, okay, there is the solar. generators just for uh, like the winter or cloudy days and things like that. Or nighttime. <laughs> or nighttime, yeah. All right, so the uh, sun's pretty much set. It's dinner time. It's uh, meals ready to eat like we usually have on our um, UTV side-by-side -side trips and stuff like that when we're camping. Yeah, we do like these. You don't have to keep them uh, in a cooler or anything like that. They're self-heating. They fill you up quite well. There's quite a bit of calories in them. Way better than Mountain House for that. But uh, yeah, these things are awesome for when you don't have a whole lot of room to pack gear and stuff like that. So we've got a, quite a bit of calories in here. Not sure if you hear that on camera, but uh, we can actually hear those things sizzling away cooking in there. It's actually expanding the... I think you'd probably burn your hands almost if you grab these things, eh? Like when oh, they're... for sure. Off-grid living requires a little more work and care than a traditional cottage, especially in the winter months. But feel good knowing that you've invested in a low-carbon, eco-friendly getaway. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. We just burned a whole bunch of two-star oil all the way here, so... Well, the Tuscan beef's pretty good. What do you think of that one? What was it again? Um, curried chicken with rice and lentils. Yeah, I'm always impressed with how good these things actually are. Like, they're definitely better than what you would get out of a can. Yeah, even these tortillas, I actually prefer more than what we buy out of the grocery store or the package. All right, so we ate. We're pretty much toast now. We've been both awake for over 15 hours. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to shut the camera down, go on vacation. Come back to you in the morning and see if we have any snow on the ground. Hopefully uh, it stops raining overnight. See you in the morning. Good night. Well, we're back. Good morning. We did uh, wake up to a little bit of uh, fresh snow here. Not as much as we were hoping for. It ended up raining maybe a little longer than we wanted to last night. But um, the temperature is starting to drop and it's going to drop abruptly through the day and into the night here. So next we're going to get uh, packed up here pretty shortly and uh, head our way back home. And we'll give you our thoughts on the uh, stay we had, which was pretty good overall. I really have no complaint. We're all packed up, ready to hit the trail, uh, head back home. What were your thoughts of the place? I like it, it was comfortable, uh, slept well. Yeah, it's nice and clean. It's, uh, I have really no complaints. I thought it was a wonderful place to stop. And yeah, if, if you're traveling like us, we're packed up on your, your sled or uh, your UTV, it's a great spot to travel and, and use as a base. Like we said, this is a pretty good home base. You can head, uh, I guess, east and west, and then you can head north, south from there. So there is a, a lot of loops in here that you can spend an entire day at. So, um, yeah, uh, there's more of these around. Like you said, there is a website for these. Yeah, so yeah, we'll try and leave a link for that. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we get to uh, try some more of these this, this year if the weather holds up. All right.